Do I have to do everything myself again? What are you doing? I cheated on you. And I have no right to wear this anymore. It happened only once, and it meant nothing. But it's killing me inside, and I needed to tell you. So now you're the one that suffers. Look, I didn't plan for this, and uh, please, no, please, but don't touch me! We just bought this house. We've been dreaming about it for 15 years! And now you've ruined everything in an instant! What have you done? I'm sorry. You're right. I'm gonna finish packing and I'm gonna leave. No way! You are not leaving this place until everything is done here. Just as we dreamed when we lost each other. But then, I didn't know that sometimes love survives even when it seems to be over. My name is Emily, and this is my love story. I made us breakfast. The fact that you're staying doesn't mean that I want to see you or sit at the same table. Emily, let's talk. We will talk. In court. With lawyers. So you want a divorce? I want you to paint all the walls in the living room. I've already done that. What? Yeah. And uh, in the rest of the house as well. When did you do that? At night. I couldn't sleep. You can brag about it to your lover. Emily! There's nothing between us. I, I don't even know her name. I don't even want to hear about it. It just happened, okay? I'm sorry. Frank! Do you really think that excuses what you've done? I take care of this house. I just paint, wallpaper, I search for furniture. I make you lunch, breakfast, dinner. And you? You go running around with other girls. I am sorry. I don't want to see you. Actually, I wanted to talk and know why he did it. But instead, I hurt Frank so that he could feel how much I was hurting. Days went by. Every day, our house became more beautiful. And we became unhappier. I avoided even making eye contact with Frank because I still loved him. It seemed that I wasn't ready to give our feelings another chance. What's up? Forgot how to hang the picture? I was just remembering how in love we were. We were, until you ruined everything. No. Excuse me? We fell out of love. Way before this goddamn betrayal. I wanted to pounce on him, shout and punch and kick. Because he was absolutely right. But the next day, it happened. Where do you think you're going? I'm just going for a quick walk. Haven't you had enough adventures? I've been hanging chandeliers all morning. 
my hands hurt and they don't obey me anymore. Yeah. It would be better if something else obeyed you. Finish the job and then you can go wherever you want. But in a moment, I regretted my words. Frank! Oh my God, oh my God. Honey, honey. Doctor, how is he? For now, he's conscious. Uh, you may want to think about taking him to the hospital to do some testing to make sure he's okay, but for now, he seems to be okay. Okay. But how, why, why did this happen? At the moment, it could be that he lost his consciousness because of some nervous tension, but it also could be a symptom of some more serious illness. Anyways, I would recommend him to Take it easy, no stress, to take some walks in the fresh air. He needs to regain his uh, strength. But if anything like this happens again, uh, just bring him to the hospital immediately. Okay, okay, doctor, I understand. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Chandelier. Why did you do that? Because you asked me to hang it. No. Why did you betray me? One evening I realized I didn't want to go back home. But why? We bought this house to be happy to have a place, to build a future together. But we got so caught up in this future that we completely forgot about the present. We don't even live together anymore. We don't have breakfast together, don't eat dinner at the same table. We don't make love. We don't hug. Hell, we don't even talk. Of course we talk. Were you aware that I got a promotion a couple of months ago? What? Weren't you surprised that I closed the deal on this house so quickly? Didn't it occur to you to ask how it happened? But why didn't you tell me yourself? You know how many issues I have to deal with. We used to deal with our issues together. But ever since you got so caught up with this whole house and with I'm sorry. I'm not trying to push it on you. I know what I did. Frank's betrayal was not accidental. It was not the house that needed to be repaired, but our marriage, which had started to crack. And I'm gonna live with the consequences. Where are we going? To hang the goddamn chandelier. No need. It's enough for today. But I promised you I'd do it. No. You have to rest now. Just lie down and sleep in our bed. Are you sure? I don't want you to sleep on the couch. You, you need comfort now. But where are you going? stay with me just a little longer. I looked into Frank's eyes and understood. I still love him. 
the warmth of his hands, the smell of his body, his look. I was drawn to him. I missed him so much, but still didn't forgive him, or not. Frank? How do you feel? Much better. Good. Where are we going? Well, it's finished. So I'm leaving. What do you mean? Well, I put up the chandelier and uh, the shelves in the kitchen. Um, all you need to do is just arrange for the small things and it's done. At that moment, I realized that I hadn't thought about the repair for a long time. All my attention was now focused on my beloved Frank. Yeah. It's done. Can I say one more thing? I know I have no right to say this after what I've done, but I just want you to know that you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I wish you the best. Frank, stay with me. What? Let's not postpone our lives for later. Let's be happy now. Am I? Then, in his arms, I understood that if there is true love, you can pass any tests. The main thing is to trust your true feelings. <laughs>